Tomatoes are the most popular food that is home canned. In this home canning tomatoes module, you will learn the various ways to home can tomatoes, as well as resources for new recipes and processing times. I am Megan Baumler, recording for Suzanne Dreesen, University of Minnesota Extension Food Safety Educator. Home canning is a great way to preserve tomatoes. Proper methods, choice ingredients, and correct acidity levels are critical for a safe home canned tomato product. Water bath canning and pressure canning are two methods to safely home can tomatoes. Do not substitute one canning method for another. Be sure to follow the directions in the recipe very carefully. Search for recipes and resources from the USDA, universities, or canning equipment companies. Home canning recipes and methods are tested using the best quality ingredients, and that means you must use the best quality ingredients as well. Choose fresh, vine-ripened tomatoes at their peak ripeness. Use tomatoes free of disease and insect damage. Diseased or bruised produce may have extra pathogens, and the process time may not be sufficient to kill extra organisms contained in damaged or diseased produce. Wash tomatoes before processing, and removing the skins is optional. Acidity levels in tomatoes vary throughout the growing season. Tomatoes reach the highest acidity level when still green and the lowest acidity as they mature. Many varieties of tomatoes grown today have an acidity level around or above 4.6. The Clostridium botulinum bacteria responsible for botulism thrives at an acidity level above 4.6. Because of the variation of acidity levels with tomatoes, you must add acid to all water bath or pressure canned tomato products. Add acid to each jar prior to adding the tomatoes in the form of citric acid, lemon juice, or vinegar. Canning supply companies like Mrs. Wages and Ball Company sell citric acid. If using lemon juice, commercially bottled juice must be used because fresh lemons vary in acidity levels. More vinegar is required, 4 tablespoons per quart and 2 tablespoons per pint. This amount of vinegar causes noticeable flavor changes but can be offset by adding a small amount of sugar. One teaspoon per quart does the trick. Processing times are based on the type of liquid used to pack or fill the jar of tomatoes. Tomatoes with no added liquid or packed in tomato juice have longer processing times of 90 minutes because the heat distribution is less effective in juice rather than in water. The processing times in this chart are adjusted to Minnesota altitudes between 1,001 and 2,000 feet. Search online to find this chart. Type UMN tomatoes and directions. An important food safety update for canning tomato paste was released in 2014. Because tomato paste is a dense product, the citric acid is added during the final state of cooking instead of directly to each jar. This is done to distribute the citric acid evenly throughout the tomato paste. In addition, new recipes were added, including chili con carne and choice salsa. Access these and 24 other tomato recipes from the National Center for Home Food Preservation's website. Speaking of recipes, the Minnesota Tomato Mixture is a research-tested recipe developed by the University of Minnesota Extension. It's a mixture of tomatoes, celery, peppers, and onions. The best news is it's safe to process using the water bath canning method. Go to extension.umn.edu and search for tomato mixture. Home canning tomatoes can be a great way to get that great tomato taste after the harvest. Safety and using proper methods is key to preserving fresh tomatoes and keeping your family healthy. Thanks for watching.